So the other day I recorded this video uh, about a thing that I made um, for when I'd broken my collarbone, which was quite a difficult time in my life, and that's why I'm only just releasing the video now. Um, sadly, the beginning part was, um, there was too much wind noise, so uh, uh, here I'm introducing the video and we'll jump straight into where it's good now. A uh, granny stroller, but as you might see, it is not your average everyday granny stroller. So if we go and have a look inside it here and pull out something. Here we have a wheel. This is the original wheel for it. And uh, uh, there were two of these. The other one, let's pull out the other one because that's the one that's broken. Here we go. So you can see the wheel broke, um, <laughs> which uh, uh, was quite interesting. There's a bit of a story behind that in that I was in a hardware shop with a friend and we came across these wheels here. And we were joking around saying, well, hey, uh, it would be cool to stick those on there. And uh, uh, he was like, but how would you do it? And I was like, oh, I think I, think I can work out a way. And then uh, maybe le less than 48 hours later, the wheels that were on there broke. And it was like, fine, okay, went off to the uh, hardware store the next day. Uh, went and bought those wheels, got them home, got all the bits and pieces together that I thought I'd need and basically stuck it all together in the space of about two hours. And you'll see the way that I've actually put it on there. Originally it was done entirely with twisty ties. You see the wheels are too big uh, to be able to sit underneath uh, this bottom bit uh, on the original axle. So I ended up making a new axle for it. Uh, and then to attach it, I played with all sorts of different way, ways of attaching it properly, like uh, a proper uh, mount sort of wrapping around us going off the back here or something like that. And nothing I played with worked very well. Um, and then I ended up doing lots of twisty ties. Uh, so not twisty ties, uh, cable ties like these. And that actually worked the best. The trouble was is they did tend to wear out after a little while. I got a, f a few weeks of heavy use out of them. And so then what I ended up doing was then changing to using the wire and then just using these as a safeguard for if the wire fails. And I've never had to change any of the parts since I did that. And so that's what I stuck with. You'll notice there's also a bow in the axle. And that's just because uh, in the early days I used to stand on the axle to demonstrate how strong it was. Um, <laughs> Hmm, point made. I mentioned that I didn't have many forms of exercise available to me, and uh, so this was actually pretty much my only form of exercise, just sort of walking everywhere uh, and going fairly quickly. And so I ended up making this sign just to be a little bit cheeky. Uh, in case you can't read that, it says, You have just been passed by a granny stroller. So anyway, eventually that got all mouldy and yucky, and it was time to get rid of it. So then, I ended up uh, making, out of acrylic, I made this wee sign here, and uh, much simpler, and uh, that used to light up. It broke um, a little while ago, and I haven't repaired it since. Um, but that was controlled by this. And this here is just out of one of those uh, uh, fiber optic flower type of uh, uh, things that you see in the wee cheap stores these days. And all that does is it's just sending uh, uh, varying inputs of power to three uh, LEDs and so I just changed that to a uh, red one, green one and a blue one, wired it all up and so then the sign would just change uh, colours. So I was just starting to wrap up and realise one of the most important features of this was actually one of the first that I added, which is this pole here. It's a telescoping uh, pole. The idea is that uh, when I'm walking along, let's see if we can get the angle right, when I'm walking along, if I'm holding the uh, thing by the handle, um, it's like it uh, gets right in the way. I'm not really demonstrating it well with holding the camera. So essentially my feet would hit the back here, uh, and that wasn't very good for uh, trying to get anywhere. So what I ended up doing was adding this pole here. Now I made several versions of this before I settled on this. Um, originally I had, uh, I think it was steel. I think it was a steel pole that I used. And um, yeah, it rusted up. Uh, no, it wasn't, it was aluminium. Um, yeah, so it corroded a little bit, but uh, not badly. It did leave lots of marks on my hand, which potentially wasn't very good for me. So uh, it was good to get rid of that. I played around with making a handle for it. Um, but yeah, it just slowly bent and uh, everything. So I ended up uh, getting this chrome one. And uh, this is, I haven't had to change it since, it's uh, worked really well. Uh, so it's basically just two, I think it's one meter lengths, 
I think that's one metre length. Um, so it's two one metre length poles, they sort of fit very loosely inside each other. And the important part, there's two important parts. So right down the bottom, uh, we've got a hole here, and that's just got a, a D-shackle holding it on. Um, but there's a thing that, uh, on the inner pole, um, the thing that, there's a thing that looks like a plunger. And so that is sitting right down uh, near the bottom here. And then when I pull it up, so when I pull this up like that, um, it is um, coming up to this part here, and the plunger stops about here. So what is here is um, a hole that goes through the outer pole, and then there's lots and lots of wire sort of wrapping in through. Now originally I did a uh, cable tie on there, and the cable tie worked pretty well. It would generally last a few days of heavy use, and uh, so it was pretty effective, but um, not very efficient. Um, it had a very luxury feel to it, but uh, anyway, I ended up putting in this uh, using just some very thin fencing wire, I think it's about one millimetre, something like that. Uh, just wrapping lots of that through, and then I used the uh, duct tape, or gaffer's tape, whatever you prefer to call it. I used that just to sort of strengthen it up, so that if any bits broke, um, then... Yeah, there would be that. I think I've changed that once um, in the time that I've had it. I've been using this now, like I say, for two and a half years, so it's done very, very well. Um, you'll see that uh, the cart itself has had very heavy use. It's very ripped to pieces. This There was just a little hole for the wires, but you see it's broken all around. Um, it's had a lot of heavy usage, um, so... Uh, yeah, um, I still use this now. Um, even though the collarbone's all healed, I still use this now. Um, simply because it means that, well, hey, as I'm getting older, I can still be carrying um, a decent amount of weight uh, without harming my back. Um, and that's always got to be a good thing. So uh, it was sort of uh, maybe I wouldn't have started using this uh, before. But since I'd sort of gotten past uh, whatever shame there is of uh, carting a granny stroller behind you, it's, well, may as well keep on using it. The interesting thing about that is that in about the last six months or so there's been a massive influx of them and there's lots of people my age using them now so I don't know if that's me that's caused that trend or if uh, some other outside factor has but I just think it's quite funny so anyway um, I hope you enjoy it um, there's uh, the website funnyhacks.com um, I recommend going and checking it out because I have a huge amount of extra material for this which um, will be too much for the video